Raise your hand if you bought one of these Touch Me Now panels uh, from me uh, and haven't built anything with it. It's just lying that, like this in a drawer because you never got around to building the circuit on the back uh, to make it into a working module. Well, today's your lucky day or something. Uh, I'm introducing today the companion PCB for the uh, Touch Me Now panel. Put them together and you get a PCB like this or a, a module like this. Um, so this is to make it into four drum pads or four pads that uh, send gate outs. So it's the, basically the gate output circuit that I did in a modular in a week video. Uh, but I redrew the schematics uh, and added a few things that I didn't have in the uh, previous schematics. Um, so a few things. Usually my panels have been sandwich versions, so stacked on each other like that. But this one is in a 90 degree angle, as you can see. And because of the size of the panel, there were some strange things. So the power socket is on the back uh, in a 90 degree from the PCB, as you can see like that, soldered on both sides. And then the jacks are not soldered onto the PCB, but are hanging with that uh, indention in the PCB for the jacks. There are also those really strange uh, headers that are a 90 degree angles and that is to so you won't get a, a solder point sticking out of the front panel. I did discuss this before uh, so that's a way of fixing that and then with those 90 degree uh, headers I connect it to the PCB in the same way as I do with a power header. So, very simply, you get four gate output pads, drum pads, call it what you want. Uh, very nice, quite a simple circuit to make. One uh, TL074 and a bunch of 2N2222, just like, the, uh, like I did in the modular in a week video. So, the PCB... I know, as I said, I guess that there is a lot of you out there who just bought this one and never bought the PCB. So for that case, I've made a discount code uh, so you get half off this PCB if you want to uh, buy this PCB to make it into a full-fledged module. But I also have this one, which is a wee bit smaller. It's like half a centimeter smaller. Uh, this is the last prototype version before the final version. Uh, and the thing that is missing on this one is that on all the outputs of this module I actually added, that's why there was no space anywhere, so I added down here uh, voltage dividers on the outputs. So on the modular in a week video and on this uh, prototype board there is um, the output is like 12 volts you get full on 12 volts out uh, minus a diode so maybe 11 volts something like that on the output uh, but on the new board with the uh, voltage dividers you get you can get whatever you want you can make the voltage division just how you want or if you just you can just bridge a few solder points and you get uh, 11 volts out on this one as well but I send with a bunch of 10k resistors so you get 6 volts on the output if you want this one however because I did miss that one or realized that I needed that one so I bought 30 of these um, and one capacitor and uh, that red little dot there is turned the wrong way around and I can't sell this one so if you really want to um, save money uh, then I'm giving these away for free um, so there's a discount code to get half of the real one 
but this one you just have to you, you, like ship, I can't afford uh, paying for shipping so you need to buy something but whatever you buy just say that you want this board in, a, in the message and I will send one along or if you forget to s write it in a message just send me a message and I'll include one of these in your order or if you want if, if you've bought more than one of these before I will of course send you multiple of these to work with these so it's just you need to be aware of that little capacitor uh, which I will make a small red dot on so you just know that you have to turn that way the, the wrong way according to the silk screen but the correct way according to the schematics so that's that those two half off or if you want you can get it for free if you just let me know. Um, there is a build video coming out for this one. It is an hour long, so it's quite long, but that's because the uh, the connectors are a bit special, and that's why it takes a bit longer to um, to build this one. Uh, but I'm doing it slowly, so an hour. It shouldn't take you much more than an hour, anyway. I'm also in the same uh, at the same time I'm releasing the shortest build video I've made which is for the um, which is for the multiple which I've done before but this one this time with uh, thonky con jacks which you know you can buy it with uh, thonky con jacks which makes it even easier and much more quality uh, over this module uh, and hex nuts with that. So um, if you if you want to if you bought this just the panel and stuff and want to build it with Thunky Cons, it's super simple. I mean, it, I really shouldn't need to build make a build video, but there's one little thing with the uh, ground legs that they share. Two ground legs share one uh, solder pad, and that makes it a small thing that might get someone in a hiccup so just to clarify that so I'm, I'm really right now I'm releasing this video and then two build videos for the Moo with Thunky Con Jacks and for the uh, Touch Me Now with the PCB panel and I'm adding all these PCBs to the store so there should be enough um, kits uh, to get those. So the discount code uh, is valid through September out through September. Uh, I have 25 of the new ones and around 25 of the uh, old ones. So yeah, if you want one uh, or two or whatever, uh, just head to the store and get some. And that was it for this video. Take care. Bye.